today I decided, I made a decision to go public with this very rare speech disorder that I have. It's called Foreign Accent Syndrome. Abby Fender, a woman from Texas who is 39 years old, experienced an unexpected surprise after undergoing spinal surgery as she woke up with a severe Russian accent. As a result, she has been struggling with identity issues and feels compelled to conceal her true origins to avoid uncomfortable conversations. Foreign accent syndrome, a rare condition, was diagnosed by doctors in Fender's case. Typically, this speech disorder is caused by brain damage, most often from traumatic brain injury, stroke, aneurysm, or a central nervous system condition such as multiple sclerosis. However, in some cases, the underlying cause remains unknown. Following speech therapy to correct her Russian voice, Fender faced a new challenge. She developed an Australian accent. Since its first description in the early 20th century, foreign accent syndrome has been a controversial topic among neurologists and speech experts. Despite the fact that only around 100 cases have been diagnosed since 1907, a few cases have recently made headlines due to their uniqueness. In most instances, the syndrome results from damage to the brain's speech center, the Broca's area, which is critical to our ability to articulate and use words accurately in spoken and written language. The condition is more prevalent in women than men and typically occurs following a stroke although it can also be caused by developmental, psychiatric disorders, trauma, or tumors. Cases of foreign accent syndrome can involve changes in the pronunciation of words, syntax, vocabulary, as well as variations in vowel length and tension. There was no report of brain injury in Abby Fender's case. Her accent has recently shifted to Australian, but the reason for this is unknown. She says, I don't want to lie about where I'm from, but sometimes I do because it's easier. Every time I do this, I feel like I'm denying who I really am, and that's not a good feeling, but I get asked where I'm from at least 10 times a day. I remember once I said I was Ukrainian, and the other person started speaking to me in their native language. I had no idea what to do, so I had to come clean, but this was never a problem before the war. Despite undergoing several tests to uncover the neurological background of her condition, Fender's efforts were unsuccessful. Her singing voice, which she has honed since she was 11, has also been affected. She says she can't maintain the same pitch as before the surgery and has taken on a different tone. Spinal surgery to correct a herniated disc carries a slight risk of spinal and nerve damage. The most common complication, occurring in around 1 to 7% of cases, is dual rupture. This occurs when the thin covering over the spinal cord or brain membrane is cut by the surgical instrument. However, it is unclear whether Abby Fender had dual rupture or any other serious complications during her surgery. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this and be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. We appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon.